Local organizations from the Ozarks have set out to help people impacted by Debbie. Nicolette Sangara joins us live from Convoy of Hope with how relief efforts are going so far. Nicolette. Lee, in addition to Convoy of Hope, the Red Cross and Missouri Task Force One are either stationed or en route to North Carolina and Georgia. Teams of volunteers are prepared for flash flooding as this storm is forecast to make a very slow departure. One of the three closest task forces to the Gulf Coast. Missouri Task Force One left at 2 o'clock this morning with 45 people and are scheduled to arrive in Raleigh, North Carolina by tonight. You know, we're prepared to do any type of water rescue stuff. We're um, we took an enhancement on boat operations and water rescue capabilities. And so we're ready for that. Um, we can do any, any type of mission that may be needed because we do take all of our equipment. Debbie has been a slow moving storm with more uncertainty than other storms this year. This has posed challenges to forecasters as well as those planning to respond to the disaster. You're, it's kind of a hurry up and uh, wait and see, right? You're, you're watching all of that happen, but for us, you know, we're, we're waiting to see what do the impacts look like after the waters recede and where the floodwaters end up being. Staged in southern Georgia, Convoy of Hope has brought truckloads of survival needs and hygiene kits. Convoy has teamed up with local churches in that area to extend their reach to those in need. Up to 20 inches of rain has already fallen across the uh, Carolinas from Debbie, and another potential 8 to 10 inches of rain could add to that, according to the National Hurricane Center. Reporting in Republic, I'm Nicolette Zangara, KY3 News.